Now we are on the sevens with Pyphrius B. Metatron. I am Pyphrius B. Metatron, your hostess with the mostest. It is good to be here. It is good to see the screen filled up with a bunch of familiar faces. I am just ecstatically excited about all of you and all of this and all of me and everything that is happening and transpiring and manifesting in my reality. I want to open up the floor for a brief second. I have to step away for about 10 seconds, but I'd like to open it up. And if anyone has any, any words they would like to share, now is the time because when I get back, we're going to dive head first into the lesson. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Hey, Jolene. <laughs> how y'all doing? Good. How you doing? I'm trying to get out of work, but I'm letting <laughs> slow down a little bit because out here they they wild. They they act like they're on a race track, and I know I drive drive fast, but I don't cut people off, and I don't tell bent people out here. People they they crazy. Yeah, that sound like Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta. I've never been to Atlanta. I gotta visit one day. No, you probably don't want to. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, all right. We are back. Hey, Jolene, good to see you. Glad you could make it. Always glad to see your face here. Always, good to see always. you, too. Absolutely, Thank absolutely. You. Good to see everybody else that's here. We're going to jump quickly into the, into the lesson. This is the continuing series of uh, introduction into mastered self numerology and just in case you know i know a couple of you on this call know this but just in case anybody else doesn't know this everything that i'm discussing and writing and talking about i wrote all this i didn't this is not from somebody else this is my own mastered self numerology normal normal numerology goes one to nine i cover one to nine but my specialty is 10 one to 99189. So that's why I call it Mastered Self Numerology. It's just extension of, of the basic numerology that you would get. So all of, all of the uh, definitions and all of the descriptions and all of these things that I've come up with, they probably will cross over into some of the basic numerology. But once we get started and I go from 10 to 19 and then 20 to 29, uh, all of that is 100% original material. Uh, this is all original. However, it may, you know, some other books may have some of the similar stuff in it. Um, you know, I didn't reinvent the wheel and invent numerology. So, you know, the formulas and how I calculate certain things are, are universal in there. You know, every numerology book you're going to get is going to have those same calculations in them, but the content is mine. So, uh, this is introduction into master self numerology. Today we are going into the number six. It deals with the letters F, O, and X. The the key word. See, six is such a, 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 a dynamic person. Oh, oh, let me start off. Oh, that's right, that's right. I got to I got to give you all the progression. Okay, so one says let's have the cookout. Two goes and gathers all of the fixings for the cookout. Three, goes in the kitchen and begin cooking and makes up a wonderful meal. Four, has the house and the plates and the tables and all of that. Five, brings the, the party favors and their appetite. Six is going to make sure that the food is served, that the that the, is plated properly. It is, that the kitchen is clean, uh, and that after everybody is eating, while they're eating, the six is going to be the one that is going to bring shit back and forth from the kitchen and fill up your glass and make sure if you want a piece of pie or something like that. And then after everybody then got drunk and full, then the six is, is the one in the kitchen cleaning up everything. That's the six. The key words for the six, Sharon, you need to stop laughing. The key words for the six are selfless service. Uh, anyone with a, a, a especially a, a six soul journey, a six uh, soul urge or six 
soul energy or a six in their first middle or last name yeah uh they serve until they die sixes serve most sixes serve until they die till they just can't just just can't no more till they just can't no more uh they are the kings and queens of making everybody else feel good that's just plain and simple uh um they are durable they are built durably normally have uh uh if you look at a six if you would put a leg underneath the six and turn it around that's how most sixes are built they they have hips and a derriere uh uh, real shapely if they're a female if they're a guy then they have those athletic type of hips and that athletic you know going on with the booty 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 meringue uh, uh and they're normally sleek up top and bottom uh they are durable a six is a six is definitely the timex watch where from the old school where it could take a licking and keep on ticking you can run it over you can do whatever you know the six is very durable I am very fortunate that on my physical plane of expression, and we'll get into the planes of expression uh, in a few more lessons, but it deals with my physical body. I am a six on the physical. Thus, I have very, very good recuperative powers. Uh, uh, some of y'all uh, know my little history and I have come back from some stuff that would take uh, somebody else uh, out or alter their lifestyle to the point to where they're not having a good quality of life. And it all started at birth. Uh, I, I just, yeah, I just, I, I've been a fighter physically uh, uh, since I come out of my mama's portal. So uh, I have a six on the physical plane and that, that lends me to my recuperative powers in my body. So I want to get on with some of the uh, some of the uh, the keywords for the six. The six are the sixes are artistic, uh, sympathetic. They're idealists. Um, uh, the six can can get behind an ideal and will will fight you to the death about an ideal that they believe is righteous. They will fight you to the death on that. Uh, the six uh, 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 has a sense of duty. They walk around with a sense of duty. It's not an arrogant thing. It's not I'm better than you thing. It's more of I, I have to do this. Nobody else going to do this. Nobody else can do this. Or it's my duty where they don't even the work that they do and and the stuff that they do for friends and families and loved ones and neighbors and community, they don't, they don't, it's, it's, it's not a burden to them. It's their duty. Now, if they are in an intimate relationship, the, their partner is going to hear all about it, but the other folks, it's their duty and honor. It's their, it's almost an honor for the six to do something for somebody it's, it's honorable it, they just look at it as as this is what i came to do uh, uh they're they're very humanitarian uh, they take on other people's troubles uh, like i said they they serve 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 uh uh sometimes uh 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 in great ways they are very self-righteous. Um, they, they always um, line up on the side of truth and justice. Uh, um, they can be a little obstinate. Uh, and again, obstinacy is neither good nor bad. And depending upon what you are abstaining from, uh, it can be very, very good. So they they have they have tremendous willpower uh, uh, in certain things, certain things no, certain things yes. Uh, very very unselfish, uh, most unselfish creatures on the planet. Uh, got sixes, 
somewhere. Um, family ties, they are tied to their families like it or not. They are tied to their families and family is important to them. Even if they are only uh, orphaned only child, they are gonna have a family man. Somewhere, somehow they are gonna get in a family or make their own. <clears throat> uh, they always uh, seek in harmony, always looking for approval. Always looking, looking, and, and approval might be uh, 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 not the best word. It's more of, more of appreciation for what they have done. The six needs to be appreciated. You appreciate a six and they will run through a burning building for you. Appreciate what they've done and they'll just keep on. They'll just keep on. Uh, uh, don't appreciate it. And then, yeah, you get rolled over like a tank poof, on their way out the door. Uh, sixes are very slow in making decisions. Uh, not from a lack of mental acuity, not from a lack of, 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 of anything other than they just not in a hurry <laughs> in making decisions. They just, it just is what it is. Uh, sixes are very domestic, male and female, very domestic. They, they, they love beautifying the home. Uh, uh, the home is their haven, it's their sanctuary, it's the freak show at the house, it's the, it's the you know, uh, food network at the house. I mean, everything, they, they just love the home they they just it, it's it's what they do they and making the making they can make one of them sidewalk condos one of them cardboard condos that the homeless folks kind of stay in you know we've seen them i stayed in one before yeah they can make that a home they can they can make that they can make a tent out in the wilderness a home absolutely they can sleep in their own car and make it a home that, that's what's up with a six. Uh, Self-sacrifice. Uh, there's no no number on the on, on in the in the role that's gonna sacrifice more than a six. And they will they will cut. They it, 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 here, here's an example of a six. Six is drinking water. You walk up and you say you thirsty, and that's the, all the water. The six will cut their throat so it'll run through them and, and get some, and then it'll go into you. That's, that's the depth of the self-sacrifice. Y'all laughing, but I'm serious. That's the depth of the self-sacrifice of the six. Um, uh, they are, what, what's a better word for stubborn? Because that's all I could come up with. They, they got a stubborn streak. It's not so much stubborn. It's just that. Inflexible. Ah, well, now, come on. <laughs> I won't say inflexible. I say that it really comes from, from a sense of, and this is a six talking, you know, I do so much for you. How you just go halfway throw some shit together for me? You know, kind of like, uh, and the sixes really don't expect the same treatment from others as they give out, but they want it. <laughs> But they don't expect it. They don't expect it. Again, they cut their throat and let the water come out of their throat so that you can get some. Can uh, I say something? Absolutely. For a six, if you do something for them, like more than anything, they expect you to do it right. Absolutely. Time. Absolutely. They damn sure want you to do it right or don't do it at all. Yeah. Yeah. Just sit down somewhere. And I'd rather you just not touch it. <laughs> and with a six, if you don't know what you're doing, don't tell them that you do, and then start working on it, and they see that you don't know what you're doing, because yeah, you're going to get clapped back, really, really, yeah, they're going to, they're going to kindly clap your ears back on that one, yeah, they cannot stand that, if you don't know what you're doing, and the six say something, just tell them you don't know what you're doing, they will, either they'll do it or they will find somebody. They'll find an expert that does that shit. They don't go for no shade tree mechanics and no sidewalk. Can I, can I come? No, no, they, 
they hire top if they don't do the work themselves they hire top notch experts in their field they don't mess around they don't mess around uh six will never take their car to jiffy lube to get a, a oil change they take that shit to the dealer man they pay a 500 dollars. they don't care they do not care no they no no uh uh they have a, a very conventional uh mindset and a very they have conventional influence on the world and on those around them uh um sixes mm, a lot of sixes are dominant some get dominated but very few sixes get dominated sixes are the, are the ones like i said look at a six how it's built it'll roll that bottom part that's like a lawnmower it'll just roll right over your ass can i say something please but do. it's very subtle yes yes it's not like in your face mm. or you know ruling with an iron fist mm -hmm. it's very subtle very subtle and they have to be provoked take a lot to provoke them but once you provoke them that six is karma six is the number of karma so yeah they're gonna roll over you and you're gonna get your karma from them you're gonna if get you, the same energy and then some <laughs> and then some yes 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 the six is is they don't play like that a uh, six has very fixed opinions and very fixed and strong beliefs. Uh, uh, and I mean, they're rooted all the way down. They rooted like a hundred feet in the ground. So yeah, you might, you might tip a six over on a belief, but you got a hundred feet of something that's buried a hundred feet deep. They just going to bounce right back up bounce right back up you you have to tangibly show them the difference in a belief and then you have to back up and let them slowly come to that decision you can't rush them you can't bombard them you, yeah no that that's not happening they're very compliant people sixes to get pulled over yes officer here's my license here's my registration Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I know I was going about four miles over the speed limit. I apologize. Yep, yep, yep. You know, they compliant, man. Compliant. They yeah, sixes fall in line. They fall in line. They're not upsetting the apple cart because they already got a peak at number seven, and number seven ain't complying with shit. So this six is like, yeah, no, 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 no. I see what five and seven. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'll row the boat. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, and uh, because of their selfless service, whenever their selfless service turns like tit for tat or a scoreboard or a scorecard, then they become the egotist and there's no bigger ego. Y'all think the eight got a big ego. The eight don't have a big ego. The eight just got a lot of energy and they, they uh, uh, infuse themselves with that energy constantly. Yeah. When the six stop serving for selfless reasons and serves for selfish reasons, they become the egotist and they will when they are the egotist and not serving selflessly, they fall for any bit of flattery that you can give them. Any bit of flattery. They just, oh my God. So anybody got anything else they want to add uh, on these keywords about the six? Yeah, yeah I, I want to add that. something. Oh, when I'm, you, sorry, oh, I'm sorry, honey. Go oh, ahead. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Um, I want to add something to when you were talking about they don't like to be dominated or did you say they uh, maybe a little bit no no i said they they definitely uh do not like it most sixes dominate a few get dominated but for the most part no they're not playing that domination stuff okay so i want to add something to that i want to add um jill scott's quote uh -huh. and this is just perfect for me uh -huh. if you can tell me what to do you can tell me what to do. Absolutely. If you can't tell me what to do, <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I love that one. I love that. that you go ahead, Miss Scott, and thank you for adding that, Sharon. 
Go ahead, Victorious. You were going to say? No, I was just going to add another key word to the six. Um, sturdy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Sturdy. Oh, yes. Can withstand the storm. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Built, look, built durable like the Maytag washer from the 70s. Yes, yes. Six is built durable. Yes, they are sturdy. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, we're going to go on to the, to the power colors for the six. Um, orange, henna, mustard, and any other uh, soft yellows. Leather, uh, tan, bone, uh, uh, too much creamer in the coffee. Coffee, yeah. That, I just made that color up, but y'all know what I'm what I mean by that. Soft browns, scarlet, which is a kind of like a dull, in between red and maroon, and heliotrope. So fixes when you really want to make an impression. On, on anyone, you making a presentation, yeah, you got orange or mustard on. Uh, and it, it just, it, it, it takes you out of, see sixes are, are naturally humble, but that orange and that mustard take you out of that natural humbleness and you kind of own your shit when you're wearing orange or mustard. Uh, uh, going out on, uh, when you're going to impress that henna or them, uh, 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 shades of brown. Um, uh, when you are making a business presentation, that scarlet. Uh, and when you're just casual and looking for fun or out on the cruise or whatever, heliotrope and, and all of those soft uh, tropic pastel colors. Very, very, very powerful for the six. You'd be like the Pied Piper. You start walking around with the heliotrope on and you just have them following you wherever you're going. Uh, yeah. Anything, anybody want to add anything about colors? Six, I, I know I got a six on here. What, what's some of the colors that you like? Number six. So I'll say I had this rust sweater that I got from Banana Republic yep. a yep. few years ago. Oh, it was actually a while ago. But every time I would wear this sweater, like it would just, oh, and I would wear it with a citrine. Yep. Every time I would wear those two pieces, like um, if I had some, if I had to speak or be in front of a group of people, I would find that like I always did well when I had on those two items. A absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Really Hello. Good. Hi, Jolyn. Can I interrupt you? I see a rainbow, and I'm gonna put the phone so hopefully y'all can see the rainbow. Yeah, yeah, I see a little see bit of it. Yep. Ah! Yep. Way cool. Way cool. I just wanted to share that. <laughs> Absolutely. We appreciate that. So those are your those are the power colors for the six. <clears throat> now we want to break down and unlock the spiritual code of the six. The six is an extrovert number, and that that makes sense. For me, because they truly, truly uh, don't feel like they are living their purpose unless they serving somebody or serving a group or serving humanity or serving society in some way, shape, or form. So, because of their need to serve, uh, yeah, they're extrovert. They'll go out and find somebody to help. <laughs> Let a six not have nobody to help. They'll go out driving around looking for somebody that they can help. Uh, they just have to have to serve. So the the spiritual code is they are the great humanitarian. Uh, they have a divine inheritance from the cosmos, a divine humanitarian inheritance. Um, they they literally do not get tired of giving. They don't. If a six got it, you got it. <laughs> and they will give till it hurts because they, they inherently understand the cycle of money and prosperity. As it goes out, it flows back in. It's just like the waves. The waves, the tidal waves come in, 
crash and then they go back out and then it builds up again. That's the same way that money is in the six all inherently. They know that they, they truly, truly know that. Uh, and, and because of that, they have a divine humanitarian inheritance. They just have so much. Most sixes have so much that they have more than what they gonna ever use in their life. So they just have to give it away. It, it just happens like that. It just happens like that. Uh, they also are endowed with the rewards of creation. Some of us are endowed with the reward of inspiration. There, theirs is the reward of creation. So they get the pleasure of seeing and experiencing, like, I, like I'm explaining about, I'm putting together this one through nine about this meal. The sixes are the ones that are sitting back, looking at everybody eating and enjoying it and getting the most pleasure. They, their reward is in the creation. It's in what they create. It's in what they are a part of that made someone happy, made their day, made a difference in their life, made a profound impact in their life, was the final piece to their puzzle, what, yada, 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 whatever it is, that's, that's their reward, the reward of creation. They don't think about the work. They could care less about the work. It's the creation. And that's what they get their jollies from their thrills is in the rewards of the creation. Uh, and uh, the last part of their spiritual code, the six is the storehouse the provider and the caretaker. If you got strong six energy, a six uh, soul journey, um, somebody, you gonna end up taking care of some of your relatives or somebody, you, you, you are the caretaker. You, you're, you're the one that is the most solid that the parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles, if they got anything, they're going to come to you and say, get it together for me so that I have something. You, Yeah, you're the caretaker, you're the provider, you're the storehouse. Any comments on the spiritual code of the six? So can I ask a question? Absolutely, you can. Hello? Yes, you can. Hello? Yes, I'm here. Oh, the 666. The 666, what does that mean? Why are people afraid of it? Well, 666 is the carbon uh, uh, equation for melanin. And they're afraid of melanin because, well, you know why they're afraid of melanin. <laughs> we're not gonna get oh. into, we're not gonna get oh, into I why people are afraid of melanin in 3D. I'll talk to you offline about why people are afraid of melanin in 3D. Oh, okay. But yeah, the, the, the 666 you probably are referencing is uh, that fable that was written into uh, 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 that book that was put together at the Council of Nicaea. So yeah, we're not discussing anything about that book over here. Okay. So I'll, I'll talk <laughs> to you about no that idea. offline. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. It's nothing important. Don't worry about it. Okay. So we're going to move on to expansion. <clears throat> uh, what and how does the six expand? The six expands by when they are living a wise and conscientious lifestyle. You're going to see a repeating theme. The six expands by their lifestyle. The six, that's number one. Number two, when living by the guidance of their heart. Not by what mama said, not by what the boss is talking about, not what the husband or the wife is saying, but when they live by the guidance of their heart, they expand exponentially. When they are living a principled, and strongly convictatory lifestyle. What I mean by convictatory, I just made that one up too. I mean, with strong conviction, strong stances and strong beliefs, not being pushed this way and that way. And, and, and you know, the next new fad here, here we go and all that. No, it take a whole lot to turn the head of a six, a whole wow. lot. 
Yeah, it takes all the time. Can I ask a question? Absolutely, Courtney, you can. Honeybee, yes. <laughs> what causes a six to get off track and um, stop being selfless? When they catch, when they catch themselves up in the drama of the family. Instead of seeking harmony, when they the, when the six is the one stirring the pot, when the six is the one that's gossiping and backbiting and lying and doing all the dirt, yeah, that's when they get thrown off a of track. And when they stop serving selflessly, when they when they start serving for uh uh when they serve for selfish reasons and yes, when they feel empty and need to recharge. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That throws them off track too. Yeah. And, and quite frankly, when they don't have a cause to serve, when they just, when they without a cause or without uh, 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 something to direct their service and all their service and love energy into, that could get them off track too. They, the six got to have something. They have to have something. They have to have something. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all. You're welcome. Number four, when fighting for ideals and principles according to their own beliefs, not the beliefs of others, according to their own beliefs, that's when the six is expansive. Uh, and expands the most uh, when seeking harmony instead of discord. And most sixes, most sixes are the peacemakers anyway. If if some stuff is jumping off and you see two or three people that's like, hey, break it up, hey, or they're standing in between people, then folks got sixes in them. Yeah, because the ones and sevens is fighting, and the threes and fives done took off already, <laughs> and the eight. Got the got the video camera. Is filming the shit. Yeah, uh, and the nine is gonna be the witness for when if if the police have to come. Uh, uh, so when they uh, when the six is seeking harmony instead of discord, that's when they expand. Uh, when they're seeking to right the wrongs of the world, of society, of the relationship, of the job of uh, you know the bus route of the whatever in a kind and or generous manner not as a gruff not as a grumpy grump but when they're when they're doing when they're seeking to right the wrongs in a kind and generous manner they expand exponentially and lastly when doing good quote unquote service for family friends and community and that's pretty much the life of the six, that last one. So they're always expansive when they are doing good, when they are serving, properly serving, not enabling, serving the family, friends, and their community. Any questions, any comments? We're making good time today. All right, we're gonna run to the life work and the purpose uh, of the six. Uh, the six, they love to work. So pretty much they will fall and they're very compliant. So they will fall in line with pretty much whatever it is that they, that, that they do on the, on, however, uh, even though they, no, not a, however, even though they like to work, they normally are very well paid. Sixes don't play that below market value horse shit. <laughs> They do not. They will not accept a job unless it's in their bracket. They will hold out. They're not taking no little measly little temporary job at half they pay just to keep working. No, uh, -uh. no, no, mm -mm. because they because they give fully at, at everything they do, and and they never would take on anything that they're not equipped or capable of doing they they're not the three or the five three and the five you'd be like yep we can do all we can do everything yep <laughs> the three knows again and the five wants to so yeah we, we the three and the five volunteer for anything the six is like mm -mm, unless it's in their wheelhouse they're not budging 
they're not budging. They'll sit and wait for the next one to come around. So they can demand, they can demand the top dollar because they are normally very, very skilled, highly skilled in whatever discipline that they choose. Sixes, uh, teachers, uh, ministers, historians, scientists, uh, um, uh, uh, data mappers, uh, data miners, programmers, um, software engineers, game uh, developers, uh, anything that takes, takes some technical uh, stick to some detail work, and and clarity of thought be able to sit and focus on one thing for you know, yeah um uh that's the six children's book authors uh, uh because of their humanitarianism and because of their service and because they have gotten uh all of that goodness when they were kids they make very 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 profound and very profitable children book authors yeah yeah they they read because they can get in they carry the youthful mindset of a child the best way all the way through their life so they're always able to connect with the kids always able to connect with the kids uh welfare workers nurses doctors in hospitals and in institutions you know prisons and and camps and things like that where health and healing methods are prominent. If it's all about money, yeah, no, they're gonna leave there. The, the nurses, uh, doctor, and you got strong six energy and you go to one of them hospitals and they're all about the money and they ain't, ain't giving a rip about people's health. Yeah, you'll quit and, and go to another place that is doing that. Um, um, any type of humanitarian work, any type of humanitarian work, uh, uh, definitely a bunch of sixes is on is in route to Louisiana uh, and wherever uh, Ida touched down with her path of destruction there are going to be a bunch of sixes all through there and the sixes are going to get shit done and everybody's going everybody's to get something because the six don't mess around when it comes to that they, they are very very uh, aligned with any and all humanitarian uh, humanitarian work <clears throat> um, anything dealing with home goods and commodities that deal with beautification. So, you know, interior decorating and, and if you want to change your paint swath in your house or you want to, uh, you know, you inherited the house and you got your hundred year old grandmother's furniture and you want a whole new look and inside the house, you want your, you want your kitchen redone, uh, both the sinks and the looks and the cabinets, all that stuff right there. Yeah, the six is that, the six is one you want to look for. And, and any type of beauty commodities, clothing, jewelry, uh, makeup, uh, designer bags, any of those high end, things beautiful accessories yeah uh the, because the six can recognize that inherent beauty and in things and the six you could just put a package together y'all y'all can just y'all y'all know what looks good and what goes with this and what colors i'll set that and and you know you could look at somebody somebody could walk in off the street with one of them hospital gowns on and by the time you get done with them they have a whole new makeover from the head to the toes uh, you guys just know how to put the right stuff together for the right package. You know how to package stuff up properly. Uh, high high end chefs, uh, not at McDonald's and or, or or Applebee's or nothing like that. I'm talking about high end, high class restaurants, high class nightclubs, private clubs, uh, uh, exclusive and 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 you know royal type hotels and luxury hotels and luxury cruises and uh uh being executive chef for and and dealing with 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 that and you, and and again it's not so much how you cook it's how beautiful you make what you cook 
anybody with tremendous six energy. If you look at the food that they cook when they put it on the plate, you almost don't want to eat it. You want to take a picture of it and put it up on the wall because it's just, it's like a piece of art. It looks like a piece of art. The six understands that we eat with our eyes way before we stick a fork in anything. And they just make, the, the their plates are just the most beautiful. Their cakes are beautiful. They just, they just know how to put the icing on the cake and whip it up. I mean, it looked better than the shit on the package. Yeah, that's the six. That's the six. Uh, service through healing. So in health stores, in, in uh, uh, rest homes, convalescent homes, hospice homes, uh, uh, and anywhere where the undervalued or the underprivileged or, or the forgotten uh, is in need of, of health uh, or is in need of some health education or health healing or health work, the six is a natural, natural energy healer. The six is natural at Reiki. The six is natural at, at the, the stuff I had to, I have to practice at. The six is natural at it. You, you just natural at it. And, and the six can mimic any physical action they have been shown. You can mimic it. You can, yeah, yeah. The six can be, the six uh, learn how to type and then you can show people how to type. You can just mimic it just like that. And, just yeah, anything you're shown how to do physically, you could turn around and teach it very, very quickly and easily. And uh, uh, their life work, anything in nature or any earth-based work, geology, uh, uh, horticulture, agriculture, uh, uh, gemology, archaeology, uh, shipping, uh, seaports, uh, zoology, anything that's dealing with nature or earth-based work is a life's work or a purpose type work for the six. Any questions, any comments? If not, we will finish up with the interpersonal. The sixes of all of the numbers, the six, are, the six is the lover of the, do, of the group. Yeah. Babyface, uh, Babyface sung a song. This is for the cool in you. Yeah, he sang that for a six. Because they are the lovers. The sixes are the lovers. The sixes need to love as much as they need to be loved it's equal for them it's equal for them they can't love and not be loved if they sensing that you ain't all in yeah they 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 done yeah they're done yeah because it's got to be equal exchange of love energy for the six sixes need to love however they need to be loved equally in return home family, children, or nieces and nephews, or grandkids, or whatever, they form the background of the six. If the six don't have kids, it's home, and they extended or immediate family. If they have children, oh my gosh, yeah, they, they are the, the great mothers and great daddies, those sixes. Yeah, they do everything for them kids, yeah, everything. They're, they're the, they're the uh, uh, soccer mom, taxi mom, soccer dad, basketball coach dad, football coach dad, leave work early, go watch the game. Yeah, that, that, those are the six. Home, family, and children and or, and or extended family uh, forms their background. That's, that's what you see. Like you see my background on the seven, their background is home, family, and the, and the kids. Six is uh, absolutely love luxury they not cheap they they don't want no cheap shit they don't want no bargain basement shit they don't want nothing off the clearance rack no they don't they don't want buy one get one free uh-uh that's yeah, the sixes don't roll like that they love luxury they top shelf they is tiffany bracelet or don't buy me shit yeah 
I'm glad you thought about me. Yes, uh, Sharon. I had to learn to be frugal because I've been homeless before and um, I was in the shelter and the girls were just taking me around to all these places and they taught me how to shop. So they were shopping at like the um, uh, the Salvation Army. I was like, wow, you can get like name brands. <laughs> but you still went for the name but, brand. You wasn't going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Victorious, did you have something you wanted to add? I just want to say, like, I'm always one of those people that I always look for stuff on a budget, but like, whenever I find stuff, I'm like, it's probably going to be the most expensive thing in here. It usually Absolutely. is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, six. Yeah, y'all love the luxury and the finest shit in life. Yeah, y'all ain't cheap. And, and, and the beauty about the six is the six are body the shit for themselves. They ain't even looking for nobody else to do it. They don't even have a problem with shelling out the cash for that shit for themselves. They enjoy the finest things that life and living has to offer. Uh, uh, when they're in love, they can't be blind to the faults of their mate. Uh, when they deep in it, yeah, they can be a little blind to faults in their mates. Uh, they are very, very, very generous and overly protective. You got a six in your life. Yeah, you can pretty much, that's ride or die. And they're going to be the first one. Let some shit be jumping off outside the house. They coming out with the, uh, with the shotgun ready. Like what's happening? What's going on? What? What? Mama, go back in the house. It's all good. No, cha cha. What? Oh, okay. Don't, yeah. Don't let me hear that again. Yes, Sharon, go ahead. I'm sorry. I mm -hmm. always said that if I ever had children, I'd probably be probably be in jail. Yeah, the helicopter. Yeah, the <laughs> helicopter. Yeah, the hover mom. Yep, yep, yep. Absolutely. Uh, the sixes, uh, parents is the ones that uh, be at the school when the kids is playing sports and the other kid rough up your kid and then the parent, the six run out on the field. Yes. <laughs> We run straight, the six run straight out on the field. And then as soon as you find out who the parent is of the kid that roughed up your kid, yeah, it's going to be on in the stands. It's on. Yeah, the, yeah, it's going to be on real quick. Yeah, real quick. Yeah, don't nobody hurt the babies. Uh-uh. Um, um, when the six is, is either imbalanced or, or lacking in, in, either esteem or self-worth they can smother you instead of help you that's but that's only when they're either dealing with some esteem or some of their own uh self-worth issues uh, uh or if they got uh some other type of oppressive or depressive issue that's going on in their life they'll smother you instead of help <clears throat> Can't nobody smother you like a six. Uh, uh, sacrifices themselves, yet can lack the understanding of why. Like the six is forever asking themselves after they didn't help somebody again and it didn't turn out the way the six wanted it. Like, why in the hell did I just do that again? Like, you, like they don't understand. <laughs> they just keep doing, keep on, keep on, keep on. But you don't want to sick, you don't want the six to cut you off. Because if once the six cut you off, they don't look back. They, boom, they're done. They're done. They're done. Um, the six has very, very high ideals concerning love and marriage and a lot of sixes go unmarried because of their super, super high ideals about marriage. Um, uh, being the lovers, they're, they, the sixes are, are perpetually uh, either in a relationship or heading into one or heading out of one, um, uh, perpetually, that's, that's them. They, they'll give themselves chance to heal and 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 recover but their their intent is relationship yeah they're not they're not the hookup girl or guy 
They not the jump off chick or dude. Yeah, they are. Let's get serious or keep it pushing, buddy. Or keep it pushing. I must be a sister. I must be that. Uh, Hello? No, yeah, yeah. You uh, you got some six energy uh, in you. Uh, yeah, I believe that because I don't go with a man who's telling me they got married three times. Oh, I haven't heard from my daughter in years and all that drama. No. No, no. So I know I, there was a guy, a black guy. He was so cute, but then he spoke like a white man. He sounded because his wife was white. So I mm -hmm. guess he engulfed himself with the whole family. And he said he gave me a headache. I said, I'm sorry, I gotta go. Right. I couldn't, I couldn't take it. <laughs> yeah, the O in Joe Lynn is a six. So you and when you only have two numbers, you got a, a one and a six. So they 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 fare very prominently they constantly bouncing off of each other constantly constantly um number nine <clears throat> uh true love that 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 love that just shake you to your core often comes later in life for the six when the six finally slows down enough and starts to take care of themselves the way they take care of others the six is never going to not take care of someone else. They just deny themselves for so long for the sake of others. They get in their uh, uh, middle 40s and then they start to turn around and look at that thing for themselves. <clears throat> and that's when that true love normally comes uh, for that six uh, uh, later uh, in life. And then lastly... <clears throat> The six, when they are suffering from those esteem issues or suffering from, from the self-worth issues or, or in a selfish serving mode, the six can be hard, unrelenting, dominant, unforgiving, very stubborn, and unresponsive to reasoning. I, I had to be really politically correct then yeah unresponsive to reasoning meaning you could tell them the truth when they is on one you could tell them the truth and they don't want to hear it. they'll just look at you like this tell them that uh, you can tell them that the sky is blue when they don't want to hear it <laughs> They just be like, whatever, man. They have that look. They won't even say whatever, man, but that look, that whatever, man, look is on their face. Uh, sixes are, are some of the most beautiful people of the world, and they definitely are the reason why we enjoy a lot of the comforts and a lot of the things that we enjoy is because the six has done their service. Any comments, any questions about the interpersonal or anything else that we've covered today? No, this was spot on for me. It really was like, I was that person that was keeping money in my car for the homeless. I'm like, when Hurricane Katrina happened, I was like in the, like, yeah, I, I was definitely that person. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's the beauty of that six, man. The six is humanitarian. And, and like I said, they cut their throat. They'll drink the water to get the nourishment and then cut it down. I don't know like, about that part. Yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. But I, I like the part when you said that stare. You, because that stare, uh, you yeah. know, I don't yeah, they, argue. I'm not going to argue They ain't going to argue with you. They just unresponsive. Argue. Even you if you're right and they don't want to hear it, they just be like, yeah, but even in high school, you know, I was, I was always, people were always want to fight me. I don't know. I said, go ahead, try, go ahead, you know, and I'm like, looking at them, staring at them, do whatever, you know, because I'm not going to hit you first. I will end it, but I'm not going to hit you first. 16, and so, seven, yes, you will. That's end. my fight. I used to start it, but I you will my, end it. Yes, I put my will. daughter in Catholic school because I went to public and all through public, I was fighting. And so I said, I don't want to go through that because I know me and I know the sisters will watch 
my daughter and all that stuff. So that's why I put her on cash. I didn't have any money, but I made a way. Absolutely, you did. Absolutely. Absolutely. I didn't want to go to school and take care of it. I did not. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but I am a fighter. Sorry, not sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm thankful and grateful for everyone that has showed up today. This has been on the sevens with Pythias B. Metatron, where we come to awaken, ascend, and expand. We do take a journey through the ADA steps to your mastered self. And somewhere along that soul's journey, if you keep coming back, I guarantee you, your mastered self awaits you. Uh, I love each and every one of you. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I want to leave us with this. What we set into motion with our mouths, our words, shall come back and greet us, our intentional manifestations, right where we are. You guys come back uh, Thursday. We're going to get into the number seven. That is my hallmark number. I have a feeling that we all going to be laughing our asses off by the end of the show on Thursday. Come on back on Thursday and let's check out and see what we got going on. I love each and every one of you guys. Come back again. Goodbye for now. Say goodbye to everybody. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs>